What inspired me to get into medicine was my father. I'm actually a third generation plastic surgeon. So when I was little, my dad would come home and tell me about what he did and who he fixed and what it looked like and I just ate it up. I really enjoy helping people, as cheesy as that sounds, but it is so rewarding. If you can just get up in the morning and feel better about the face that you have on or the body that you dress, you're gonna have a better day. I was inspired to get into medicine when my younger brothers, who are twins, were born and they were premature. I was five. We spent many, many nights and many, many weekends in the hospital watching the babies. So I decided I wanted to grow up and save the babies. And then I got to med school in obstetrics. There's a lot of pelvic exams. No more fun to give one than there is to get one. I really enjoy working with patients to help their true self be represented by their outside is kind of my role, and it's a lot of fun. When someone says to me, you don't look like a plastic surgeon, I cannot be more complimented. That is the highest compliment. I mean, really, when you think about a plastic surgeon, you think of a short, balding, old guy with a funky looking tie and a conservative suit. That is not us. No, so we not don't us. want anybody to look at us and think, plastic surgeon. When I was a medical student, I met Mary. She was a first year resident and actually I met her husband first. Um, and he and I stumbled through the hospital together trying to learn about surgery. I've been practicing medicine in Nashville for 17 years now and I was first with a group of men and it was a great experience. I loved my partners. I'm still great friends with my partners. When that group decided to go its separate ways, that was when I called Mindy up and said, now's the time, because we had always talked about going in practice together. When we were little peons, we said, someday we're gonna be in practice together, and 10 years later, here we are. One of the things we like best about working with each other is that if there's a particularly a hard case or a particularly great case, anything that falls outside of average, it's nice to have somebody to call who knows exactly what you're talking about, who can share in that joy or that anguish with you. People say all the time, or we often say, we're the same person. And mm -hmm. in so many ways, we're so much alike, but there's quite a few ways that we're polar opposite. But it's almost and like I, we split the one personality in those regards. Yes. I'm she predictable can, and she's unpredictable. And that she can, <laughs> she can boil things down to the lowest common denominator so that even if I'm getting lost in the in the haze, and I hope I kind of do that for her too. Absolutely. She can just, for each other, I think we're great sounding boards to say, yeah, but really, this is what matters. We are very open about the fact that we've had plastic surgery. And I think that that oftentimes will give someone a lot more comfort that, well, she gets it. <laughs> We're both pretty open and pretty honest about that and what choices we made and why we made them and why I just wanted my breast to match my butt because really isn't that the goal, <laughs> I think. We're just one of the girls and we have issues of getting home to pick, pick up our kids and we have issues of getting ourselves dressed and fitting into our skinny jeans and you know all the things that just normal, regular women have to deal with on a daily basis, we can relate to those things. I recently had a woman who's in her 60s who came in for a tummy tuck and she is in um, a new marriage and after she got her tummy tuck is going to Hawaii with her girlfriends and she said she went to the new Nordstrom's here in town and wanted to look at bathing suits and she says that girl back there tried to help me and she said do you want me to show you some tankinis and she said I told her honey I want a bikini because I have never in my life been able to wear a bikini but since I had my tummy tuck I am wearing a bikini no tankinis for me and that's the thing that makes you think, yeah, this is why I do this. Because she feels better about her body than she's felt any time she can remember in her life. And she's 62. We're so lucky. We have the best job in the world. We're so privileged to be able to do something that we love to do. 
Uh, and we're privileged to get to work together. It's not very many people who get to work with their best friend, doing the job that they love, doing the job they'd always wanted to do. We've known each other over 20 years. So, which means we met in preschool, yes. for those of you keeping track. <laughs> uh, don't do but, any math. That's right, don't do any math. 